good afternoon everyone and a very warm welcome to you all uh today we have a press conference on two international cinema the first film is we still have the deep black night directed by gustavo galvo he's just sitting next behind me and we have a lead actress from the film vanessa gusmao uh warm welcome to you the second film is summer rebels the director of the film martina sakova is also sitting with us Hello. on the dais i will give a brief introduction of the film and then request the filmmakers to give uh information about their film or the points they would like to make uh, about their film we still have the deep black night it's a story living by playing rock music is like walking a thorny field this is the case with karen who plays the trumpet in a brazilian band a band adding a trumpet to psychedelic punk rock only a few audiences come to their non popular performances the job having for a living is not conducive to her music and she takes care of her family including her sick grandfather karen goes to berlin with her ex boyfriend but returns alone with hard memories and she learns that her colleagues have left for a normal life the film asks what it means to play music in a time when rock died karen is just 27 years old and too young to give up in the passion for music it encourages who continue to music without giving up a brief introduction about the director Gustavo Galvão was born in Brasilia, Brazil. Graduated in journalism and specialized in filmmaking. He has directed 7 short films from 2002 to 2008. His first feature film, Nine Chronicles for a Screaming Heart, was awarded a special mention at the 31st International Film Festival of Uruguay. We still have the Deep Black Knight is his third feature film as a director writer and producer It was also released in 17 cities in Brazil and was selected for some of the top ranked festivals in Latin America Now our second film for today is Summer Rebels A brief info about the film Summer holidays is all about fishing, riding a truck, plowing through white water. 11-year-old Jonas expects a lot of fun and action, but his family, scattered between Slovakia and Germany, haven't really spoken to each other since his father died. So Mother Bet has prescribed a healthy sea climate at Aunt Anna's instead of going to Slovakia as they used to do. Jonas is stunned. He promptly packs his bags and sets off on his own to visit his school grandpa Bernard in Slovakia. When he arrives, everything seems to be the same as ever. Only grandpa has changed. Without without a wife or a job, the old railway worker is not in the best of moods. Jonas knows that something must be done and it's all up to him to do it. He teams up with Alex, a Tom boy who becomes his best friend and together they develop a series of criminally good ideas <laughs> the consequences are soon felt bernard has a mysterious date coming up the police are at his heels and the children have to cope up with a failed business idea there's a, there is a lot to be straightened out before everyone can trust each other and be friends again in the end nothing will be as before it will be much better <laughs> uh martina sakova is a slovak director and producer she studied film direction at film academy vasmu in bratislava in slovakia she was a guest student at the film academy hff in potsdam and went on to study experimental media design at the university of arts in berlin 
In 2007, she established ho- her own production company, Projector 23, in Berlin. Summer Rebels is her feature debut. Now, I would first request the director of We Still Have the Deep Black Knight, Mr. Gustavo Galvo, to please introduce his film. Thank you. Uh, first of all, let me explain why I'm wearing mask. <laughs> uh, it's a very important issue now in Brazil. Uh, we have a, a deep crisis there, exactly now, right now, uh, in a huge city called Manaus in the north of Brazil. People are dying without oxygen tubes in the hospitals. So it's a political issue. I hope you understand. Um, Well, my film, it was was released in Brazil in 2019. And it's a story about art, music, passion for art and music in a place, Brasilia, that used to be the capital of rock music in Brazil. People now in Brazil uh, still are still listening to, to the bands that w- were born in, Bra- in Brazil in the 80s. Uh, so it was a city built in 1960. And it was a very young city when rock music uh, emerged there. And, and st- as a young city, it has problems to to find its own identity right uh, I, I I'm sure for 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 you it's it's weird I mean India is a millionaire country millionaire culture uh, to 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 talk about a city that has 60 years old only uh, but now this city that were was beginning to to find its identity through music the places are getting uh, are closing. There's a the, uh, um, a policy uh, uh, of the government to to shut down the places, to forbid music, to forbid what they call noise. Uh, and it's uh, it was disturbing me a lot because I, I, as I am from Brasilia, as Vanessa is from Brasil as well, uh, I didn't want to see my city getting closed. I, I, I didn't want to see my, my, my city dying uh, because of, of policies that forbid art, that forbid music. So we decided to, to create this film about a young musician, a trumpet player, a girl. A girl. And it was, uh, I'm not a musician, but I, I, I had a band <laughs> uh, centuries ago. So it was enough for me to uh, admire musicians, to admire their uh, ability to to create sounds that move us. And so I I had to make a film about musicians to express my solidarity and my my, uh, admiration on them. That's basically it. if you want just to ask more questions, I'll be here to, to explain. Uh, before that, I would first request uh, Ms. Martina Sakoa, who made the film Summer Rebels, to please tell us a- about her mm. film. Hello, uh, Namaskar. Um, uh, Summer Rebels is a story told um, through the eyes of an 11 years old boy um, who who tries or who wishes uh, to reunite his family um, and in the end he succeeds. Um, And I hope that the story uh, will be some kind of uh, moral support in this um, difficult situation um, for for many families uh, nowadays. And um, 
Yeah, also the places uh, uh, look a bit different uh, from the Indian ones. Um, the film um, deals with universal themes like friendship, uh, trust, um, uh, feeling of belonging uh, and love. And um, uh, when I uh, wrote the story, uh, I put a bit um, some some personal uh, experiences uh, in it. Um, uh, as a child, I had to face um, the problems with uh, my uh, split family, but uh, I enjoyed very much uh, the summers uh, at uh, grandparents' uh, place, where we could be as a ch children uh, free and without parents' control. Um, so I liked it uh, very much, and I hope that, uh, that the audience um, will perceive uh, these authentic feelings uh, we put in it and uh, that uh, its special humor will make, uh, make them feel better. And I'm very happy to be here in Goa and to show the, the, the film here at the fe film festival. Uh, I'm, I have never been uh, to India uh, before. And um, yeah, I, I hope that, uh, um, that, that these um, these, also I'm very thankful for all possibilities um, uh, to keep alive uh, the culture of cinema uh, for the future as well. And it's very, I'm very thankful in fact, to Film Festival to inviting uh, me and also like, uh, to, to show the film. Yeah, that's our uh, Thank you so much. Uh, before we open the floor for questions, I would like, uh, Vanessa, you would like to speak? About the film? I have another question. Yeah. Uh, uh, she was speaking Portuguese and I'll translate to her. Uh, uh, what, she speaks okay? Yeah, if she can give a brief intro or talk about the film in Portuguese, it's fine. Yeah. Olá, hello. Mm. Uh, bom, <laughs> por onde começar o filme? Ele fala sobre a realidade do da música independente, do, da, das dificuldades que, que é você querer fazer arte e, enfim, e querer viver disso, assim. Então, e, e, e coincidentemente, é uma realidade que eu vivo, porque, além, é, é, na, na vida real, eu sou musicista também, e, e as dificuldades que, existe, que, que, que se passa no filme são as dificuldades que eu passo também na vida real, no, meu, no, no, no dia a dia, com minha banda e com meus projetos, com as coisas que eu tenho para fazer. Well, it's a film about the reality of, uh, of being a musician these days, and it, it, it talks, a lot, talks, a lot, talks a lot about my own experience, because I am a musician myself, and I, I experience many of the situations that the film express. <laughs> she has, uh, well, just to explain, uh, she's part of the band, we, we, we set up a band for the film, right? So, uh, uh, usually when you have a film about music, you cast actors and they pretend they are musicians, which is in a way fake, because to be a musician you have to practice 24 hours, 7 days a week for years, for years. And she's a bass player. The the main character is a trumpet player. And to to play trumpet, you have to practice for ten years. So I didn't have time to cast an actress <laughs> and ask her to practice for ten years. So it was easier to cast a real trumpet player and had uh, acting coach, acting lessons with her. It was the same with all the band we, we, we set up for the film. And Vanessa is a very good bass player. And she plays in, in, in some cool bands in, in Brazil. And, and that's it. Uh, uh, we, we, during the, 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 sh the, the preparation, I, I talk a lot with the musicians. To t I wanted to learn with them as well. How is, how is it to be a musician? Uh, what are the difficulties you have, the, the challenges you have? 
So I had this script, but of course, many things change when we start to work in the film. Uh, dialogue, situations, and they, they work a lot with me building the, the, the project, building the characters. And there's also with us Cristiane Oliveira, she's co-writer of the film, and that's it. <laughs> uh, I would request Cristiana if she wants to add something for the film. You may please take the mic and... Thank you for the opportunity to be here. Thank you, the festival crew, for all the hospitality. Well, I co-write with Gustavo, and I'm also associate producer of the film. So if there is any questions about uh, this part of the business, I, I'll be here to, to be able to answer to. Feel free to send any questions. And uh, well, we are from, uh, so we live in Sao Paulo. But I'm from the south of Brazil. And coincidentally, I have another uh, film being screened mm -hmm. here in the festival, too. Mm -hmm. So we'll be seeing each other soon again. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, before we open the floor to the questions, I have uh, a question each for the film. Uh, first, I would like to ask uh, Mr. Gustavo. Uh, the main protagonist of the film, Karen, she plays trumpet, am I right? Yeah. Uh, was there any particular reason that you chose that musical instrument only? Because as in rock band, I don't think that's an uh, instrument that people like to hear. It's either guitar or uh, yeah. piano, maybe, that's the point. or drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I wanted the music to be different. I wanted the music to be... Uh, a different, uh, I want a different approach of rock music uh, to to make it more difficult the journey of the character. You know, uh, it was uh, 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 when I started the project since the beginning, since day one, I, I decided that would be uh, 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 or a trumpet or a saxophone. Okay. So as there aren't, aren't many options of a female musicians playing saxophone or trumpet in Brazil, I mean, so specific, uh, we had uh, two, three options, only three. Uh, but I had this great chance to meet Isla, who played the, the who played Karen, because she had already uh, a previous experience in, in performance. In, in so for uh, she was a, uh, a model as well she worked as a model and so she she wasn't afraid of the cameras no. it, it was important thing <laughs> so uh, but yeah I wanted uh, it's let, let, let me explain why the trumpet uh, I wanted the character to to carry the instrument all over the places okay so and contrabass would be like to, to have it yeah it, uh, any electrical instrument would be uh, yeah. difficult yeah. right mm -hmm. so you had to carry the instrument and the the sound box the the the, um, the speakers right okay uh drums impossible of course <laughs> 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 and so i choose the 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 trumpet because it's a, it's a small instrument you can carry all over the places so you can travel with your your instrument and but it's it's also important to 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 say that as i was uh, saying before as a musician you must practice all the time and is it is especially especially tough w for someone who plays trumpet because if you spend let's say a week without playing you miss it it's 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 a matter of keep practicing all the time. No. For Isla was difficult in a way, because when I invited her, she was already ab abandoned the, the the instrument. She was she's an, a professional architect. Okay. So mm -hmm. when I invited her, okay, she was um, yeah, let's try, <laughs> and she had to 
learn again how to play the instrument. It's it's very interesting. Uh, very interesting. Thank you so much. My next question is to Miss Martina uh, for the film Summer Rebels. Um, the lead protagonist is 11 year old Jonas. He, we can call him a child actor. And uh, he has a grandparent which is, which is nearly 60 to 70 years older than him. So did you find any difference since it's uh, difficult to get acting out of the children? Or uh, do, you have, do you have different things in mind while directing both of them and how to give instructions to a child and a uh, grandparent? I enjoyed uh, the work with the child actors very much because they are spontaneous and I choose uh, two very clever uh, actors, very clever children so it was easier for us to to find uh, the same language somehow and we cast it in Prague and Bratislava and so we have the main two actors, the grandpa and the uh, grandson, they are Czech actors and the girl is Slovak actor. That there was some kind of bit misunderstandings during the shooting, but um, it was it was easy in fact to 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 do it and to with the, with the children um, because they are really open for new ways and they are not they have not this um, this kind of. Uh, th this routine. Can you, you please know? speak in the mic? Uh, okay. Um, that uh, they are um, uh, they are aware of of the situation and for what they should uh, should play and what it's about. And then they are also like um, they are open for for new ways. How to to should I do it? Because they are not actors. They didn't study it. And uh, for us, uh, it was very important to have uh, two weeks before the shooting, um, uh, only for us. We, um, uh, we spent time together uh, at the cottage of uh, where we were discussing uh, each scene and of the film. So uh, during the shooting, uh, when you are managing uh, all, the, um, all the organization stuff, that uh, we didn't need to concentrate uh, um, of the meaning of the scenes because they they knew already what it's about. So it was really and fact fun to make with them. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, anybody from audience would like to ask a question now, please. Yes, please. Last. Hi, good afternoon. My question is for Gustavo. Uh, can you sort of briefly again explain the political dynamics of the country which sort of made you uh, make the film? And also, did you approach the film with, with a space of anger or frustration? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anger is with me all the time, um, especially now. But um, yeah, the, the f uh, we're facing a very difficult moment in Brazil. Um, we don't face censorship directly, but we've been through uh, this process. Uh, uh, I know that India, you have a, a, a very strong system. You can have uh, private money for e even for independent films, right? But in, in Latin America in general, you can't have money for uh, private money for independent production. You need uh, public fundings. So uh, this government, they expressed very clearly since they won that they wouldn't finance films, that they don't agree with uh, 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 the ide ideology or they, they don't agree so uh, they can't do that but they can't shut the 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 system that give us money to shoot so we're in the situation that I, I have another project that is stopped for two years already I earned the money the money is uh, uh, already, uh, uh, I had the bank account already open for two years already, but they simply don't sign the contract. 
so it's uh, it's a weird situation because this money uh, it's so it's 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 not a public money in, in in a way because it's taxes that we from the industry we pay and is reverted to 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 film production you see but it th this money goes to public uh, uh, administration the agency and the agency delivers the money to to producers so the the, the money is stopped there in the agency and there are almost 800 projects now in brazil stopped so it was a situation that was yeah, it, it, the numbers are a bit, uh, 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 we don't know the exact numbers. Some say 700 projects, but uh, it's a situation that uh, it was very tough even before the pandemic, you see? So then came the pandemic and of course no one is shooting. And <laughs> so we are in desperate situation right now, in specifically talking about the, the film industry. Um, so, and the film was shoot, was we, we shot the film before this, uh, in 2017, but there was already coming a wave of, of censorship and f there are ex ex exhibitions that were suddenly closed uh, because of the issues and when we shot the film in Brasilia, few few days before, uh, an artist was arrested because of performance. Uh, so it's it's weird because we had tough times in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s with a dictatorship, and it's like it, it's coming again, you know. And but we are here. We're facing these difficulties and still creating, still writing, and, and in a way the film acquired this, this importance for, for us in Brazil because it's about that, it's how to resist, to keep fighting, to keep uh, creating, to keep uh, producing. And so uh, it happens all the time. Uh, 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 some, let's say, a uh, filmmaker, See, a f see the film and, and come to me, oh my God, this is about me. This, this film is about what I experienced. I'm not a musician, but it's about me. Uh, uh, writers came to me and talk about that. Playwrights talk, came to me and talk about that. It's, it's about res resistance through art, you know? And that's why ang anger is always with me because you, you, you don't have to be like that all the time. I mean, <laughs> uh, 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 I, I wish I could say beautiful things as well, not just the fight, not just the struggle, you see. I don't know if I answered. Okay. Thank you so much. Any more questions? It's important to say that the, the, the film was started much before this. Uh, 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 the project started in 2011. And the situation was totally different back then. But uh, it is important to, to, to notice that uh, politicians come and go, but art is still there. And the, the struggle of the musicians is et eternal. So uh, uh, um, internet came and with this false promise to, to to deliver your art to all the world. But I mean, there are billions of artists trying to, to show their, their work, right? So it's not as easy uh, as, uh, it's, I mean. To survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Vanessa can, can tell more about that. It's, sh she have two bands, I think it was one of two bands. And it's, every day is a new struggle, right? Because there are billions of bands try <laughs> trying to show their work as well. So, uh, and w the fact that you don't achieve success doesn't mean anything in a way because y y success de depends on many things, you know, it depends on the moment you are 
releasing your, your work depends on how much money you have to release your work. Uh, depends on if you fi reach the right people, the right critics, the right journalists, the right... Uh, anyway, uh, so um, it's about... It's a film about art in its uh, most cruel form, that to keep creating, to keep working, even without the recognition, you know. Okay, thank you. So, any questions from the audience? If you don't have any no. questions, okay, sir. So. How was the response from the people for your film? Yeah, this is Gustav, sir, uh, kindly tell me how was the response of the people sure. to your film? It's, it's, um, as I mentioned before, you don't have to be a musician to 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 uh, how can I say to feel to to relate with the film. You see, uh, uh, there was this situation in, in Brasilia. We, we released the film in the film festival there, and uh, uh, a lady came to to us and told me, "I don't like rock music at all." But I loved what you did because it's universal. It's that's a great compliment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when she started, I don't like rock music at all. I thought, oh my god. <laughs> but I love what you did. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> because it's about, uh, um, let's say, um, I'm not a, a, a phone. Rec I, I don't. I don't know Indian culture uh, deeply. So, but it doesn't, uh, 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 but I admire musicians here in enormously, you know, because I know how it's like to, to, to have this routine of 24 hours, seven days a week, keep thinking, creating, practicing, thinking about what's next and what's left. You know, it's, it's so hard. It's so hard to, to keep up with. This, this pressions, the this it's a, uh, there's the, 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 the market pressure, the, that's the, the, your pressure, your own uh, uh, pressure about wh what to do. Um, and people relate to this. Uh, and I, we had very emotional reactions by musicians, of course. And in our networks, there are lots of musicians uh, following our, our networks. And people say, "Oh my God, this is me. Th th that's exactly what, I, what what I've been through." <laughs> and it's in incredible to hear that from uh, old man who doesn't play trumpet, for example. <laughs> uh, 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 it, it, it's not a, a, a matter of of gender or of instrument you play. It's the the, the idea to 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 make art on such hard cir circumstances. So it's, it was a good reaction there in Brazil. I, and I can tell about, about other countries because the film started to, to be screening all over the world, but online, uh, it started the pandemic. And I must say that uh, uh, it's the first festival abroad that uh, I'm, I'm showing this film okay. in, in, in person. <laughs> so. Thank you very much. Thank you very much because it's uh, I, I needed this. I needed to <laughs> to talk to people, l looking in the eyes. Uh, you don't have this online, right? <laughs> we are pleased to have you here. Thank you. If there are no more questions, we can conclude with final words of uh, Martina. I have a small question. Why the name Summer Rebels? Why Rebels? And if you would like to tell us anything about your future project. Thank you. um, Summer Rebels. Uh, the the first uh, title of the film was uh, S S Summer with Bernard. It was, this is the name of the grandpa. Uh, but we changed it uh, to Summer Rebels because we recognized that um, all the characters in the film had, uh, are some kind of rebels because they don't accept the uh, the status quo of the situation and they 
uh, they try uh, to change the situation. They try to change the circumstances around them. And it's very nice to see how the 11 years old boy uh, is the first one who has this idea to change the circumstances because he is not uh, not confident with with the world. He is too mature for his age. Yes, and, and so we uh, we threw that uh, the rebels, um, also the grandpa and also the girlfriend and father of the boy, they have something very similar, and it's the rebellion rebellion nature. Okay. In it. Yeah, and my next uh, next film uh, uh, I'm writing now a science fiction film about love uh, with robots. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, yeah. that's an interesting topic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. We conclude today's press conference. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much.